Hey, Billy Styles here with Organic Plant Health. Today I'm on this gorgeous landscape that's maintained by the homeowner. Just goes to show what you can do on turf and ornamentals if you know what to do and when to do it. Now we're going to talk about disease in fescue lawns today as well as warm season. But right now we're on this fescue lawn and some of the things that will affect it during the hot summer months is brown patch and pythium. Now there's a couple of different reasons these occur in your landscape. Temperature, afternoon humidity, rain and irrigation contribute to the outbreak of these diseases. Now one of the factors in brown patch and pythium is turf density. We want to make sure that we have good airflow and it may need to take a thatch rake and actually thin out your grass after a fall seeding if you come into spring and you see it's too thick. Now density is only one factor that will promote disease in your landscape. There's a 150 rule. That means when the daytime and nighttime temperatures reach 150, disease is probably going to start breaking out throughout your landscape. So you want to make sure that in your lawn that you're doing an alternating cut so we avoid compaction, which is a contributing factor to disease. You want to make sure that your blade is sharp and that if you're going to irrigate that you do it in the early morning hours from 5 to 8 a.m. And you want to make sure that you're getting a deep watering, not a lot of shallow watering. Now there's several different ways that you can prevent and press diseases in your turf area. You can use a chemical fungicide or an all-natural fungicide. First let's talk about the chemical fungicides. Chemical fungicides act with an active ingredient that goes in and suppresses and kills the disease. But after a while those pathogens will actually become resistant to that uh, formula and you'll need to change formulas to continue to have control of diseases in your turf area. Now when using a natural fungicide they help colonize the roots. They actually move down, wrap around the root systems and try to protect it from the uh, threat of disease. Now when that occurs they're actually colonizing and building up populations and become stronger and stronger as you go through time and the pathogen cannot build up a resistance to those type of treatments. But now whether you're using either one of these treatments they're going to be on the label a time frame in which to apply them. Let's say for example if you've got control on a chemical fungicide from 14 to 28 maybe even 35 days that's based on how much rain you're receiving, how much irrigation and how much humidity is going on. That window may close up and you may need to treat your uh, turf area sooner. When you're using a biofungicide, you're continuing to build up those colonizing bacterias to a level that helps suppress and continue to grow in the soil and gives you a longer treatment cycle, but you still need to replace those at a closer window also based on the humidity and time. So whichever one you choose, be proactive and you'll control the diseases in your turf throughout the year.